रक्षा राज्य मंत्री डॉक्टर बामरे जी मेरे सामने बैठे हुए इस देश के शान पूर्व सैनिक आप लोगों का मेरे हृदय पूर्वक नमन When you go home, tell them all of us. Tell them of us, and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. I repeat, when you go home, tell them of us, and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. The last words of our fallen heroes. always reverberate in our hearts and today the 25th of february 2019 we are dedicating for our nation a national war memorial of our own we waited for several decades for this great day this national war memorial will keep reminding us and the generations to come the valor the pride and dedicated selfless service of our soldiers and will inspire them to pay their respect to our soldiers and be a soldier themselves honorable president of india in his speech during the joint session of parliament on 9th june 2014 made a commitment of building a national war memorial to honor the gallantry of our soldiers and today our government under the leadership of honorable prime minister narendra modi ji has fulfilled that commitment <clears throat> to honor and to pay tribute to the soldiers who lost their lives during World War 1 and the Afghanistan Waziristan operations a memorial of pre-independence era the India Gate was constructed and thereafter in the year 1972 the Amar Jawan Jyoti was created under India Gate to commemorate the Indo-Pak conflict of 1971 post independence more than 22500 soldiers 22500 soldiers made the supreme sacrifice in our national interest and in defense of sovereignty and integrity of our nation there was always an inexorable requirement of our own war memorial to pay tribute to our brave soldiers who laid their lives in the line of their duty during the indo-china war of 1962 india pak wars of 47 65 and in 1971 the india peacekeeping force operations also in sri lanka and in the kargil conflict besides our soldiers who participated in the un peacekeeping missions during the HADR humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations and also during counter insurgency operations and low intensity conflict operations at last after a global design contest a design was selected which fits our culture and sentiments i would like to give you a very brief detail of our national war memorial The structure is a series of four concentric circles or chakras around a main obelisk like the national symbol. The chakras are suitably named as Amar Chakra, Veer Chakra, Tyag Chakra and the Raksha Chakra. The eternal flame will be in the center. For further details, better see for yourself and that will give you an opportunity to salute your brothers in arms and who laid their lives for the pride of the nation on this auspicious occasion 
I would like also to congratulate the entire project team, the designers, the architects, the construction engineers, and all other who have associated with the project. It is a marvel of designing. This memorial is so wonderfully designed that it homogeneously merged with the surroundings and gives impression that it existed ever since long. Today, we can proudly say that we have created one more pilgrimage place, one more pilgrimage place for we Indians and expect every Indian citizen will definitely pay a visit to this memorial to pay their homage to our brave soldiers. I am overwhelmed to see you before me in such large numbers, our respected veterans, gathered here from all across the country to witness this landmark event of the year and a dedication for your brethren. I have been informed that a good number of veterans have even come from the northeastern part of this country. And I salute your spirit. After all, it is that which is the armed forces spirit which have always been respected for. This government always has strived to reach out to our veterans to ensure them of all the possible help, be it welfare measures, resettlement, or medical care. In the last five years, we have fulfilled many long pending issues of our serving service personnel, the ex-servicemen, and also of the dependents, the OROP, the National War Memorial, the museum, were all pending for years. And it was under the able guidance of our Honorable Prime Minister, who is with us today, we have addressed these issues within a certain time frame. A sum of 10,795.4 crores has been disbursed for the defense pensioners, family pensioners as arrear payments on account of implementation of the OROP. Almost 70,000 wards of the ex-servicemen have been benefited under the Prime Minister's scholarship scheme, and rupees 150 crores have been dispersed since 2014 and 15. One thing we always try to ensure is transparency in the system, and for that, the direct benefit transfer has been introduced. This has helped us in eradicating middlemen from the system as well as fraudulent transactions. We have fulfilled some of the expectations of our veterans and are committed to many more in the coming years. What we need today is your trust in us, trust in the Prime Minister, and the welfare of the veterans is always top on our priority. I know you're all waiting to listen to our Honorable Prime Minister, and I shall not keep you waiting any longer. I now may request the Honorable Prime Minister to address the gathering of the veterans today. Jai Hind.